Hola amigos, welcome to Organic Lifestyle TV once more. My name is Carla Sanchez and I am here today with my natural skincare guru, Manuela Valenti. How are you, Manuela? Hi, Carla. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for being here with us. This is so important for me to share with people because when I started the whole natural and organic way of living, I found out that there was another world of chemicals that I didn't know anything about. And I want you to teach us. I want to learn from you and I want my audience to learn from you as well. Today we're going to talk about one because it can be overwhelming. So we're going to start by talking about dimethicone. So what is dimethicone, Manuela? Well, Carla, dimethicone is a silicone-based polymer. That means that it's made in a lab, used as a lubricant and conditioning agent. Basically, it's used in the cosmetic industry to provide some lubrication, some some uh, some of the feeling of being soft and, and, and silky on your skin. That being said, it's not natural. It's made in a lab and it's made from petroleum. So that means that it has some concerns in it. Is it safe per the FDA guidelines? And then also give me your personal opinion since you are actually a guru in this and you have your own line. What have you found in your experience? Well, we don't use the methicon at all in, in any of our products. But according to the FDA, and this is to be taken very seriously, according to the FDA, the dimethicone is safe to use. But since it's petroleum, there are, there are some concerns. The major concerns that exist with this particular ingredient is that it coats your skin or your hair, whatever you put it, meaning that it provides a barrier in between your skin and the environment. Some consider that this is a good thing. I particularly don't consider that a good thing. The main reason is our skin needs to breathe. Having a coat of some polymer silicone, basically plastic on top of your skin, is not necessarily a good way for your skin to breathe. It won't breathe. And whatever you have trapped in between that layer and your skin is going to grow. It could be bacteria, it can be a fungi, it could be anything. Your skin needs to breathe and it needs to detox. The best way to detox is to leave it open. Well, that's actually I was reading uh, when I was researching the methicone. I realized that a lot of people are more prone to acne when they use products that uses the methicone. And I realized that it was because of that. Whatever you have on your skin, it actually blocks whatever is there. So it doesn't allow your skin to detoxify, which is a natural process. We have the FDA saying that it's safe. Um, unfortunately, though, you have actually ta taught me that you know the cosmetic industry is an industry an industry that is not really regulated it's under regulated can you talk a little bit about that yes um the fda has regulations and i want you to understand that the regulation exists the fda is very specific in what a cosmetic company should and should not do the problem is the fda does not regulate any cosmetic company Meaning, there is no registration, and the registration that is provided for cosmetic companies is voluntary. So that means that there are many unregistered companies that they have no idea what they're doing, how are they doing it, and, and what products are they supplying consumers? Are they safe? Are they not safe? Okay, so what is a safer alternative to the methicone? We talked about it provides a coat, it makes your, your face and I guess your hair look silky or feel silky. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you. Well, there are many alternatives, Carla. One of the most normal ones or more natural ones is just regular vegetable oils. You can use olive oil, you can use coconut oil, and it provides the same softness to your skin. It provides the same conditioning to your hair, but without clogging your pores or without coating your skin. Anything you put in your skin, um, even makeup, if you put makeup on your skin and you have a nice layer of uh, a soft oil, um, your skin is still breathing while you still look beautiful with your makeup. So Manuela, let's talk about the fun part now. I know you offer an array of amazing products uh, that are natural, safe, and organic. Can you tell us your best seller of a product that does not use the methicone? I know you don't use the methicone in any of them, but that it would be a safer alternative for the methicone. One product that I particularly love the most is Squalane Plus E. Squalane is a 
uh, plant-derived oil from olive oil, not from sharks. We're not harming any animals here. And it's similar to your own skin oil. So it is very receptive. We haven't heard of any allergies or any problems with this oil. It moisturizes your skin. It provides some lubrication. And the best thing of all, it allows your skin to breathe, which is the important part. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being with us here, Manuela, and, uh, and Organic Lifestyle TV. And I'll see you next time. Stay healthy, amigos. Thank you for having me, Carla. It was a pleasure to be here.